How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Just Jared Gaming. My name is Just Jared, but you can just call me Jared now today. Once again, we are back with the Hub Journey series. Uh, this will be the second episode, obviously. I don't know what I'm telling you. You'll know what's in the title, all that. Right now we're in the space station of the previous system that we left off with. Um, and I actually have to go to my freighter. I gotta spawn my freighter in here really quick. Let's get this here. Man, that's awesome. I'm telling you what, that effect is super dope. Um, so I actually tried recording this once already. My computer died, uh, decided to just uh, crash on me, so that's great. Um, good thing I only got like four minutes in, so we just have to do this again. Go to my freighter. I need to get some Thamium-9 out of here. Um, it's in like my base storage from my previous freighter. I've got like 5,000 Thamium-9, but I need it so I can build the warp cells uh, for the next three warps and also the next you know, 50 warps that I'm going to need to get to the hub, so I don't have to actually um, farm and try to get resources, I guess not necessarily farming, try to get resources um, while I'm actually playing and doing this journey video for you guys, because it's not very exciting, honestly, it's pretty, pretty lame to have to go around collecting things all the time. Then I just got to edit it out, and once again, my computer's not the best for doing editing, um, and I said that the last time I tried to update or tried to record this and look at that it actually crashed on me while I was talking about it so alright a lot we need to get rid of a lot of this crap craft some suspension fluids into this into antimatter into warp cell another warp cell and then the same thing I think I'm gonna need some plutonium though yeah I'm gonna need some plutonium so right now we'll just transfer this to the ship so I don't gotta carry all of it because that's a quite a lot. Charge up this for now. We just need one more for this video, I guess, generally. But I'll make sure I stack up. Alright, so we got all that. Let's head back out, go explore some of these planets in this system. Alright, first planet I see is the planet I'm going to. Let's do it right here. Let's go. Not even gonna scan it, it'll be a surprise when we get there all that shenanigans. I do like the green uh, atmosphere, or the space. Looks pretty awesome. I like the lime green. I'm a big fan of the color green. If you have noticed, my ship is green. That's kind of a coincidence, honestly. I, I got this ship for different reasons at the time. It was like three months ago, forever ago. I haven't got a new ship in ages. I really want a sleek, like, fast-looking, small, you know, maneuverable-looking ship. Uh, but I haven't really found one. Actually, I found one in that space station that I was just at uh, that looks really great. It looks awesome. It was like bright yellow and it had like a pointy front end. It looked awesome, but just the storage space and all the ships that are going to the current space station are less than mine. I have a 35 slot ship. All the ones in there were like 26s and things like that. I don't want to scale down at all, so waiting for a ship to come around eventually. And I'll get it then. Alright, good. I filled that whole travel with you know, with speech, it's amazing. I didn't have to edit any of that out. We're good. I don't have to. That's perfect. Works out in my favor both ways. I found things to talk about. Also don't have to edit. Awesome stuff. Let's see if we can go to the bright side of the planet. I honestly, if this is like a toxic planet or something, I don't want it to be dark because it's creepy. I guess creepy's all right because it makes for cool like interactions. So I got a big TV. I can't remember if I said that in my last video or not not really sure. I don't remember what happens in anything, even as it happens. This kind of looks like a barren planet, but we'll see. Uh, I got a bigger TV, and everything just looks glorious. Like, it's 1080p TV, finally. My last flat screen was only 720, blah, blah, blah. What do we have? A noxious. Look at that. We have a full fauna, so we've got a lot to look at. Um, weather is harmful rain. Not what I wanted to see. I'm going to be completely truthful. Okay. Well, starting off, what the f Frick? What the frick? Did you guys see that? Okay, first off, we got flying crabs, but we also have some plants. We've got floating jumping plants. Those are always great. We got the, the jumping pineapples. Look at these guys. Look at these guys. They're walking on two feet. I'm going to be honest, like always, I've never seen, like, this is, I think, one in three of people, like, things I've seen that walk like that, like, like, almost humanoid. Wow, that's so cool. Oh my god, there's so much to look at here. Alright. 
you're not gonna attack me. That's the first thing we need to look at. Look at these. These guys are freaking going crazy. Is he? Is he? A, is he? What? Wait, where's he going? Stop running! My God, he's going freaking crazy. He's elderly, man. He's getting a workout. Okay, we got floating squids here. I'm not a fan of squids in this game. Um, they freak me out. Looks like we got some leopard um, fat. Yep, that's a dangerous creature right there. We're gonna stay away from him. Um, holy cow, there's just everything here. Alright. Um, up. Hey, hey. Hey, oh man. Oh no, he killed the. Oh, you little freaking. How dare you? How dare you kill him? He was cute and fluffy looking, and you murdered him, just like I murdered you. Oh no, get away from me. You don't want to fight me. Okay. This place is... Look, there's dangerous things everywhere. This is not a safe place. Look at him. Look at him go. <laughs> He's just sprinting away. <laughs> it's freaking funny. Alright, what do we have over here? Oh my god, he's got a big face. Hi. Hi, little buddy. These guys look cool. I wonder if there's any large creatures. No, get away from me. They're not really attacking me, so I kind of feel bad that I killed one, but not really. Okay, hello? Alright, fearful. Great. Run! Run! Okay. Great. Awesome. Um, I'm gonna scratch my neck. Okay, here we go. What do we got? Oh my god, this is just mountainous. It's pretty dark, like I said, I didn't want to land in the dark zone, but uh, I did. So I guess it is what it is. There's creatures everywhere. How many uh, creature species did we get? Um, there's still five more, and some of them are birds and or caves, because they're on the bottom of the list, so... Great. Where do we want to go? Uh, away from here. Let's just go down. Uh, I want to get a running jump. That would be sufficient. Huh. Let's do it. Alright, let's just break my legs while we're at it. 360, no scope. Okay, boom. Alright, we got uh, more flying squids. I mean, crabs. Um, creatures running. Every if I go over there, my frame rate is going to die. There's just too much. We're Look at all these. We need... Um, red dots which I'm not seeing any of my god there's just stuff everywhere I also need plutonium so let's just go well you know what we're gonna worry about that we'll, we'll get it when I walk into it cuz I you know there's always a time where you run into plutonium okay everything's still recording good great not gonna have to re-record this hopefully my gosh three times would just ruin the experience has to be said I'm not seeing any red dots. What What even hit me? Was that like wind chill or something? It was midair. Get up the mountain. Okay. Great. Oh, run. Run. I'm being attacked. Probably by the... Hey, it's a little mini guy again. I'm going to have to name these guys because they're pretty cool. I mean, they're very unique to the point where I think I'm going to actually have to name them. What I'm going to name them, I don't know. I'm not the best with names. I'm actually probably the uh, the worst with names. So, we'll just get that out of the way. Before it actually comes to the point where I have to name it, it's going to be bad, so just expect it. Alright, we're traveling through the toxic death zone that is this barren wasteland of mushrooms and acidic rain. Floating crabs, polar bears that attack you and uh, miniature uh, humanoid looking miniature bears okay um not sure if I'm gonna find anything doesn't seem like they're there they are. doesn't seem like there's like large creatures on here just seems uh, like there's a bunch of tiny creatures yeah, which is cool we got jumping plants those are always the bomb Although I did run into jumping plants on a planet that actually attacked you because they were meat eaters. Not sure. I didn't know they actually had mouths or anything besides just the fact that they're 
pineapples. But I guess it's possible. So watch out. Those jumping fruit aren't always playing nice because it definitely took me off guard. Alright. Let's get this because we're here. Wow, that didn't take long. Um, carbon. Let's get this up. Nope, I don't want to charge that, I guess, because I don't have the plutonium. Gravy. Any creatures that I do not have. What is this? Just a giant... I don't know. Just a giant rock that has, like, no texture. Can I blow it up? Yeah. Let's put a hole in it, why not? Come on. I love all day. There we go. Alright, I left my mark. I'm hole man. Leaving holes in all the walls. That's probably not the best t title or description or like slogan so we're just not gonna go with that just forget I said anything about that I don't know what that was we're gonna continue as if whatever that was that you don't remember actually never happened got it good plutonium awesome okay I'm gonna head back to uh, the ship after that uh, very eh, kind of let downish walk out into uh, just the, this planet of death and creepy looking stuff okay and hello again little funny looking bear thing all right made it to the ship let's uh name these weird things here uh rename and upload what do we want to actually name these things though that's the question i don't i don't know like these i'm never good with this um All right, there we go. That works. <laughs> yes. Look at that. And uh let's uh go with about the same thing, but we'll make it a V uh V2. <laughs> okay. Great. Great. That's amazing. Okay. Let's um continue let's see uh, what other planets we can come across maybe we can find one with some awesome giant looking creatures I don't know maybe not honestly probably not because it's just really hard to do that okay but I'm gonna not I'm not gonna get your hopes up for anything because I, I don't actually know because this is live I'm recording this not after the fact I don't have any idea what's going to be on planet Zipian Soxkale okay all right, almost there, thank the Lord. I just realized we didn't take any pictures on the last planet. There wasn't really anything picture-worthy. Um, if I could have gotten a picture of those cool creatures standing still, I would have, but they just wouldn't stand still. Like, they just ran in circles. So this looks like a barren planet, so we're probably not going to have much to do here. But we'll land just in case. I mean, there's some plants there. Can I land? Thank you. Maybe it's not completely barren. It looks like a solar planet. Charred. We have devoid of fauna, which means none, I'm pretty sure. Like, we can make sure. But I'm almost 93% sure that that means there's no fauna. Yeah, there's no fauna here whatsoever. So, we won't be here long, but I do want to take a look around. So I don't want to miss out. You know, maybe we get lucky, land next to a portal look at the portal for two seconds, shoot it a couple times, realize that portals aren't active, leave, and then be done with it. So I guess, honestly, there's nothing to be excited about. <laughs> so, what do we- oh, look! Actually, that's pretty cool to see, to actually just land next to. Let's go interact with this ruin. I haven't- I haven't interacted with a ruin in 23 years and counting, so it's been a while. Let's go interact with this. It looks really small from far away. Not much in this game is a waste of time, but I'd like to say that it was a complete, utterly, just an amount of waste right there. Walking over to that, to that ruin, 
Only to find out that I've already learned all the language on this planet for the Viking, and it gave me absolutely nothing else. And it wasn't even picture worthy. So, you know what? Screw you, planet that I can't pronounce. Ugh, this fuel system, come on. I need. Uh, well, there goes my plutonium I just got. Alright, we might be attacked up here in space. If we are, I hope. I just actually. No, I just hope we're not. Okay, yeah, we're gonna be. But maybe I can get to a planet quick enough. What's this planet? Have I been here? No, let's go, go, go. Quickly. 30 seconds. No, we're gonna be attacked before then, I think. Alright, let's see what's on Rubitsadon Tor. Not much on that last planet. That's alright. And we had the poison stuff on the other planet. Come on, just get there. Get there in time. Please, 14, 13, 12. I don't want to fight. 11, 10, 9. Nah. Ugh. Okay, I like the music. It's an awesome song. Wow, one guy is what you sent. Alright. Great stuff. Thanks for that. That was seriously hard. I'm sweating right now. Like, oh my god, stressed out. I didn't know if I was gonna live or just die at the hands of that one lonely ship. They never send anybody more than that. I guess I don't have a lot that I'm carrying, but my god. Alright, thank you shotgun blast beam thing that I have. Let's go here. Ooh, it's filled with water. Maybe we'll find some creepy underwater stuff that'll jump scare me like last time. And by that I mean, how about let's not. Let's land right next to the shore. After I just said let's not, but you know, what are we landing on? A tree? Uh, okay. Hey, f okay. Freezing rain and frenzied sentinels with no fauna. Or lacking fauna. Lacking means, uh, there is still fauna. There's just... Maybe? I thought it did. Maybe there is no fauna. Thought lacking usually means there can be fauna. Whatever, it doesn't matter at this point. I'm not seeing any... fishies. Well, I mean, this planet looks awesome. Not gonna... Joke around there. It looks pretty cool. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thanks for that. Let's go take a gander. See how things look. I really like how these trees are looking. Over here. Look nice, tall. The shrubbery looks cool. If it wasn't for the freezing rain and the, uh... Enraged, frenzied sentinels. I might have actually put my base here. This looks nice. With the green sky. Not really seeing anything picture wise, though. Hmm. I don't like those, like these archways in pictures for some reason it just bothers me maybe we can get one with my ship over here I don't know let's see let's see what we got I love the rain in this game so in No Man's Sky like the rain the weather is like my favorite um, even better than like no weather because um, I like the sound of it when you're in like buildings or when you're in your ship things like that and I like just how I like rain in real life um, but, um, if they, oh no, okay, you're just interrupting what I'm talking about, as well as the picture I was about to take, you stoop, where the heck are you, through the trees, what, hey, hey look, I got <laughs> alright, great, like I was saying, I like this picture right here, so I think I'm going to take a picture of this. With my ship looking over this, okay, looking over this awesome looking ocean of water. Before the sentinel gets here, because I hear him. Alright, that looks good. Maybe move over a little bit. Hide the ship a bit more. Get that island out there in the distance. That looks awesome. Okay, we're going to take off from this planet before I get attacked and interrupted and attacked and interrupted over and over and over. Alright, let's do it. Let's go somewhere else. 
All right, next planet. Not going to try to pronounce it. It's just not going to happen. I'm not going to scan it. We'll be surprised. I'm going to guess that it's going to be another solar planet. Or no, we haven't been on a solar planet yet. So I'm going to guess it's a solar. So there you go. Let's uh, play a guessing game. If I guess it right, then I win. Just... I, I don't win anything. I'm losing pulse drive fuel, so that's perfect. Need more iron. I think I got tons. I just filled that void of travel with absolute gibberish. <laughs> Alright. Please don't be barren. What the heck is that? It's a weird shaped rock. Anyway. Okay. I haven't been here? This looks so familiar. The same plants. A scorched. So I was right. It is solar. What a guess. I guess there's not many other things it could have been, but I don't think there's any fauna. No. Okay, we are getting just screwed over when it comes to fauna, except for that one planet. Undiscovered. This one looks exactly the same as the one we just landed on. Alright, out of fuel. Let's try uh, charging this up. There we go. Should have enough fuel now. A minute and ten seconds to get there, man. This whole video for me has been just this. Waiting. Sitting here. That's it. But you guys are lucky because I can just edit it out. You don't have to sit through a whole minute ten of this right here. Traveling, you know, endless space. It's not really endless, obviously, because it's going to end in a second when we actually get there. Well, not one second, 40 seconds at this point. 40 seconds, how can you even, you know, you're so lucky that I can just edit it right out. You don't have to talk, you don't have to wait, nothing. It's just gone, just like that. You guys must just, you guys owe me big time for editing all that out. Charred. Okay, incendiary dust. Great. That sounds like a freaking perfect place to go on holiday. A place with incendiary dust. Alright. And no fauna, once again. Wow. Alright. Wonderful. We are finding the best planets with the awesomest things to look at. Give me this plutonium, because I need it. My thermal protection is already at 75, and I haven't done anything. No, I'm literally, it's 113.8 degrees Celsius. Where's my ship? We need to get, we need to get the frick out. Where is it? Okay. My God. We are burning up inside. I was kidding at first, but it is literally happening. All right, look at these plants. They even have smoke billowing out the top. A storm. How does that even look? What does that even look like on this planet? Oh my Jesus! Extreme heat damage! Okay, understand. Extreme 92 degrees Celsius? It's 295.7 degrees Celsius right now. Look at this. You got like the flashes of the lightning and stuff. Oh, that just looks awesome. I'm not gonna lie. That, that's not the best though. We should probably go. One. Two, three, four, five. We've been everywhere. We can't leave it on that. I can't leave it on only that. We haven't found anything, like, astonishing. There was just a bunch of planets with nothing on. All right. Look. We can't, we can't leave it at that. We can't leave it at that. I'm not going to leave you guys for two days with nothing but that. So we're going to, we're going to cheat the system that I created myself. Um, so... Let's uh, do our galactic hub thing, because remember, that is exactly where we're going. I know we don't talk about it much, but... And go this way, the direction I need to go. And we're going to make one jump and look at some planets. How about that? Alright, a little too far. I always go just a bit too far. One planet. Hey, this better be a good one, because... <laughs> There's one planet here, and that's all we're getting. It's one more planet. One more chance at redemption to see if we could find something 
uh, somewhat decent. We had that one planet that had, uh, you know, flying squids. Uh, we had the um and the um v2. You know, that were so just perfectly named by me. Um, let's see. You know, what else? Then we had three planets, four planets, and a moon. Three planets and whatever. We had a bunch of stuff with nothing. Nothing but harsh weather, death, heat. Just death and heat. All of that. The bad stuff. And I spent a bunch of fuel on nowhere. Got nowhere. So, I don't know why it didn't let me do that. What the heck? Thank you. This is our last chance. From up above, it looks barren. This is just what barren planets look like from up above. I act like I know what I'm talking about. I really have no idea, but... Look, we're at Humaya Gring. Come on, be something good. Don't be barren. It's looking barren. At least have some creatures on it. Please. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Toxic rain. Alright, here's the chance. Uncommon fauna. Okay. What does that mean? I don't know. What does uncommon fauna mean? Hey, there is fauna. Let's go let's go find it. Let's go find some freaking fauna. Let's get some creatures. I see some birds. Birds. Not exactly what I wanted, because we can't really look at those. I mean, they a lot of them just generally look like birds. You know. We got a giant rock egg right there. Awesome. Okay. We need some creatures. We're looking for the dots. Don't, don't scan the plant. I don't care about that. Alright. We got some over here. What are we going to find? Are they going to be basic? Or the Hey! We got a cool looking thing over there. That I'm not going to go to. But, you know. It's cool still. Alright, the dots were over here. Okay, there they are. Four of them. We're gonna run there, just in case any creatures decide to show up where we're here. Up, oh, I hear one. Hello? Hey! Hey, he's got miniature wings. Nice. Oh. My. God. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Finally! Finally! And I captured it! Finally! My first time ever! We found Diplos! Oh my god! That is awesome. That is freaking awesome. One more planet. What did I say? I said one more planet. What are the chances of that? What are the chances that I would find this? I have never found creatures like this since my time playing. These are so hard to come across on the PS4 without having mods and things. Look at this! Look at his head! All-time favorite creature, hands down. That is insane. I can't believe that. Finally. Oh my gosh, I need some pictures of you, man. We need to get photo mode going right now. I'm so glad. Just, the, just think about that. I said, you know, before the series, I was like, hey, we're going to do planets in a system, warp three times, planets in that system in the next video, things like that. Not going to do anything else. Look at it. Look how he walks. Hey, thanks for stopping right there. He's just stopping perfectly for that picture. It was great. And I was like, you know what? We didn't find crap. Let's do one more planet for the heck of it. And look what we find. It's been a f just so long, you know, of a time that I haven't seen anything like this. That's awesome. That is so cool. 
I just want to take pictures all day. I just want to take pictures all day. And I don't want to leave it just in case I don't find it again. That's awesome. My god. Whew. That's awesome that I was able to capture it too and record in the video. Right there. Perfect picture. Alright, thanks man. I'm going to leave you be. Uh, I'm going to go walk around a little bit more, see if we can find maybe a taller one. This one's 4.26 meters tall. Not like crazy tall or anything, but still, that's just awesome. I was, you should, I should have, you guys should have just, blah, blah, blah. you should have seen my face. I was just at a shock. N just could not believe that we just came across that. That's super rare. This is the journey to the hub. So far, starting out freaking amazing. I'm going to walk around for a bit more. Um and uh, see if I could find any other creatures, maybe ones that look a bit different. Uh, we've seen little tiny guys with wings and those Diplos. Just... <laughs> I'm so glad I decided to record this today. Alright guys, so I walked around for quite a while. It's been, I don't know, it's been like 30 minutes almost, maybe. Um, I have not found one more of those awesome creatures, unfortunately. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here. I ended up finding this place and I got my ship back so I didn't have to walk all the way there. What I'm going to do is uh, just end the video here and then start at the start of the next episode. I'll warp three times and then we'll uh, go to the uh, that and we'll explore that system that we end up in. Because I don't want to leave this system behind quite yet. I'm getting a bit tired. I want to be able to come back and explore this as much as I can. Try to find more of those creatures. Um, get some pictures and share them on with you guys on Twitter things like that so uh, that's I think how we're gonna end this that was just so cool to see right at the end there it was just awesome awesome to see I'm really excited I, I want to post things on Twitter right now but I can't because this video is not out yet I don't want to spoil anything oh, it's so cool to see just that's one of the things I just couldn't wait for and it actually happened so that's just awesome but thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up for me. If you're heading to the hub as well, um, or if, you, if you've seen creatures like I just saw before, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you've seen, what you're doing, how far from the hub you're at. Um, I should be, by the start of the next episode, it'll be around 45 jumps away. So that'll be cool once we actually get there. But this is an awesome story to be able to tell, to be able to share. Um, that, you know, what we actually discovered today it was just such a cool experience. But thank you guys, like I said, for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for anything and everything No Man's Sky. My name has been Just Jared. Until next time, I hope you have a fantastic day. Peace out.